hey guys welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to work on two different ways to import objects to revit i have searched about this and i've checked few plugins and add-ins but these two ways are the best but if you know any other ways just leave them in comment section below i will check them and if they work better i will share them with you first way that we are going to try is very common and we use it all the time for this first we need to open our object in 3d max and lower its polygons and then we need to export it as the wg file and then import it to autocad to set its layers to add material in revit for some strange reasons my 3d max and autocad are not working currently and we need to skip these two parts but I'm going to show you what will happen if you don't do these two parts. We are going to open a new family in furniture because all of the objects are some kind of furniture for us. And in here, first set your unit. And then you just need to drag your obg file to Revit. And change its unit. Put it on Met or if you are using other unit in your Revit. So now you can see our object here. First problem that we have here is its direction. If you don't set your gizmo and your scale in 3D Max, you will face this. We are in ref level and we have to see this object from top view. And if you go to right view, you will see something like this if the problem is only direction you can select your object and simply rotate it but the other thing that you can fix is its scale if you select your object you can see that your scale is not active in this part so i highly suggest you set these two parts in 3d max now if you change your visual style you will see something like this your object looks good, you can use it in your project, but it has no material. For this, we need to have different layers for our object. Because if you press VV on your keyboard and go to imported category, you will see this object that we have imported have no layers and we can change its material or its appearance in 2D views. So it's really important to fix this either in 3d max or in autocad and after that you can save this as a family and just use it in your project this is very common way that you can use to import other objects to revit but i think the next way is much better second way that we can use to add objects to revit is inkscape and its asset material go to inkscape tab and open asset library in here, you can see more than 2000 objects that you can use in your project. But if you want to add different objects to this library, you just need to go to custom asset and click on here. First time that you want to do this, you will face this window that asks you to add a folder to import and export all of these materials. After you set that, you will see this window. In here, first we are going to import a geometry. Find your object here. You can use either OBG or FBX. Let's try OBG for now. After you import it, in this part you can see a preview of your object. First, we are going to set a title for our object. Let's go with Ficus. In category section, you can see that it's on category. So click on this icon and then in this part and select this plant here and in this part you can add a brief description in material section we have four different material for each part of this from their color we can see that this one is its pot this is our leaves and this pink part is its soil and this part is this metal here you can change and edit them from this part for example this is our pot and you can change its color you can add texture from this part then you can add bump map normal map or displacement map if you want to change it 
you can add reflection texture or you can just play with these roughness and the specular here if you don't need and then it's transparency and you can add texture for it but obviously we don't need transparency here all of these options will change according to this part if you change your generic to carpet or grass or self-illuminated you will have different options to work on your material and make them better and you can do this for all of these parts i highly recommend to use textures high quality textures for all of these and make them better for renders next part is scaling in this part you can change all of these scales in x y and z direction you can change your axis according to these options here it's on y so we can change this part and put it on one for now if you don't set your unit correctly or if you don't check its scale you might face problem in fixing its scale in this part but right now that we have set this it's okay next step is thumbnail to add any object to inscape library you need to create a thumbnail and you can do it from here select a good perspective for your object and then click on this thumbnail here and now you can save and export your object asset exported and yes and our asset is here select it and you can use it easily in all of your projects uh, but if this is not working you can change your file from obg to fbx from this place click on this part and just select your fbx file the difference is when you use obg file you can't see the exact shape of your object when you are using it on project but if you use fbx file you can clearly see it and it has better visual select it and place it in your project and if you go to 3d view you can see your object here this is how it will look like in inkscape as i said we need to work on its material and layers in either 3d max or autocad so we can change them in inkscape so yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.